Hey guys. So, this is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Um, I don't, I don't really share my, my really deep-rooted personal issues or problems with anybody. Um, I, I tend to, I tend to want to and actually give more than I have most of the time and it sometimes gets me in a little bit of trouble. Um, but just to, just to, you know, put it all on the table. Guys, I'm having a really serious issue. Um, six years ago, I had a double surgery. I had back-to-back -back surgeries. Um, before my surgeries, I was extremely healthy. I, you know, was, I was doing really well. And then all of a sudden, um, I got very sick. And I had to have a a full um, hysterectomy as well as um, um, umbilical horn hernia repair. Um, these were done back to back and after the surgeries I never recovered. I've been chronically ill for a little over six years now and I've been fighting this battle with the Lord and um, there's been some very unpredictable, unforeseen circumstances um, surrounding um, what is happening to my body. I've been to numerous physicians, specialists. I've had every blood test known to man done, and they can't figure out what is wrong with me. What they do know is that my body is just deteriorating. Um, it's starting in my hands. Um, it's going down to um, like my legs and my feet, but mostly um, it's causing like a major, major um, problems with my mouth. And um, in order for in order for the surgery that I need done, it would have to be an oral surgery, and I don't have dental insurance. And I would, this is a very expensive surgery, guys. Um, and I just, there's no way I can do it alone. And this is taking a lot for me to even ask anybody for help, um, I'm going to put up a GoFundMe and hope that if it is God's will that, you know, he will find a way. I prayed and prayed and prayed about this. I, to be honest, I really didn't want to do it. It has nothing to do with pride. It has to do with having that um, belief instilled with me that I must take care of myself on my own with no help. That was always instilled into me by my mother and my father and to never ask for help from anybody. Um, but in this case, I don't, I don't see any other way. And this oral surgery cost up to ten thousand dollars i've only been able to to save about fifteen hundred and that's not nearly enough and i know how much this is asking of of anybody who hears this but this is the only answer God gave me was to go to my family in Christ. 
in him and to have faith that he will provide the way. This is very, very emotional for me. It is very painful for me. And it's very scary for me to be completely truthful with you. And I don't know what else to do. I don't like to do this. I truly don't like to do this at all. For anybody who is willing to help, you would be provided with documentation um, of proof of the oral surgery if you request it and if you would like it. Um, I'm so sorry to ask you guys of this. I really am. I... I don't see any other way, and I am truly afraid of what, of what is going to happen next that they said could happen if, if this doesn't get taken care of. Um, they believe this is caused by a bacterial infection throughout my entire body that caused, um, some kind of autoimmune Um, disorder Um, so my immune system is very low and I I can barely fight off anything I have chronic fevers up to like 101 every single day or every other day I always try to be in good spirits because I, I look to the cross and I see what Yeshua suffered for us, and not once did he complain, and I feel so horrible to even, to even complain about these things in life, but if, if I don't get the surgery, it's going to have very, very severe consequences, then it's already having on me already. Guys, I can't apologize enough for for asking for your help. And I completely understand if you can't and if you don't want to. I hold nothing against you and I hold no offense because I know what it's like to struggle in this day. And in these dark times, especially with everything that's going on, I know it's a lot to ask for. And I don't expect anything from anybody. I'm only praying that if God lays it on your heart, and if you are able to please, please help. Please help me. I don't know what else to do. And I love you guys, and I and I don't want to put anybody in this situation. And I hate even asking. I do. It breaks my heart. But this was the only answer that I received. So if you are willing, I'm going to put up a GoFundMe. Um, I'm sure there there's probably no way I'm going to be able to raise as much as I need, but anything, anything can help right now going towards it, if he can possibly make arrangements, so if you guys can, um, the GoFundMe will be, um, in my information, I love you guys so much, and I pray you are all blessed, God bless you always, I love you so much, have a beautiful night.